I, Dr. Rajeshri Chakravarti, on behalf of Guru KPO website, today I am starting with infrared absorption spectroscopy. There are various types of spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is a wide field in chemistry. Spectroscopy helps in different kind of analysis, investigations of different molecules. Spectroscopy, there are different types as we have already discussed. IR spectroscopy, UV visible spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy, mass spectroscopy and all. Today I am in short, in brief going to discuss infrared absorption spectroscopy. All materials, all matter had a two type of nature, either particle type or wave type. So matter when behaving as wave type of nature, it has electromagnetic radiation. It is made up, it is emitting electromagnetic radiations. Electromagnetic radiations, they are of different region, IR region, UV region, microwave region, radio wave region and all. Today I am discussing, since I am discussing infrared absorption spectroscopy, so I am discussing area of IR region. IR region, it is very important in investigation of molecules. It is split into three regions. Normal IR region, near IR region and far IR region. Normal IR region is the main IR region which focuses on investigation of molecules. So first we take a sample, we put it into the spectrophotometer, IR radiation is passed and a graph is plot. So for the molecule to be IR active, it shows different types of vibrations. So we would discuss the modes of vibrations. Modes of vibrations, a molecule is vibrating, con continuously vibrating. So vibration could be of two types, stretching vibrations, bending vibrations. Stretching as we know, rubber band, it stretches. Bending vibrations, it bends, it bends. Stretching vibrations, symmetric stretching vibrations, asymmetric stretching vibration. If the stretching is symmetrical, some quantity in this side and some quantity in this side and both are equal then it is symmetric stretching vibration and if it is not equal then it is unsymmetric or asymmetric stretching vibration. Next is bending vibrations. Bending vibrations they are categorized into four categories scissoring vibration, rocking vibration, twisting vibration and wagging vibration. Scissoring as the scissor moves then rocking vibration if both the particles they are going this side again this side, this side, this side. This is rocking vibration. Twisting vibration, one quantity goes up, another goes down. Goes up, goes down. Wagging vibration, both the quantities goes up and then goes down. So that is wagging vibration. Next is degrees of freedom. What do we mean by degree of freedom? A molecule would be IR active or it would absorb IR radiation only when it has some degrees of freedom. A molecule could be either linear molecule or non-linear molecule. Linear molecule like this. Water that is non-linear molecule. So linear molecule it has a degree of freedom 3n minus 5 and non-linear molecule it has degrees of freedom 3n minus 6 where n is the number of degrees of transformations. Next is change in dipole movement. A molecule would be only IR active if its dipole movement is, it has some quantity of dipole movement. If it has dipole movement 0, then it would be unable to absorb IR radiations. Next is IR radiation, your IR spectroscopy is governed by Hooke's law. What does Hooke's law mean? Hooke's law means frequency of IR absorption is related to 1 upon 2 pi c where c is the frequency of light k upon nu centimeter inverse k is the force constant, force constant and nu is the reduced mass reduced mass of the matter next is measurement of ir absorption ir radiation it is plotted between absorbance and the wave number it depends upon how much quantity of ir has been absorbed by the system Next, the most important thing in measurement of IR region is, IR, IR region is divided into two categories, fingerprint IR region and functional group IR region. Fingerprint IR region is very crucial for every system. 
fingerprint IR region, a, a two system would have never same fingerprints. A human being, it couldn't have both the palm, right palm and the left palm couldn't have the same fingerprint. In the same way, IR spectra of a system, of a molecule could not be same. It would have difference in the fingerprint region. So, each and every system has different IR spectra. Next is the functional group region. Functional group region depends upon which kind of the molecule it is, which kind of organic functional group it has. It Either it has alcoholic functional group or keto functional group or different functional group. Depending upon the type of functional group, the IR absorption is used. So, there are uh, we had a table according to which we could judge which kind of absorption has been taken by the system. Whether it has absorbed in the alcoholic region, then we would say that the following organic molecule has organic functional group. If it has carbonyl group, then it would have carbonyl functional group. So, all these details could be a very crucial thing for justification of IR spectroscopy. IR spectroscopy has a wide application in chemistry. So, IR spectroscopy is useful in identification of a molecule, it is used in sampling of materials, it is used in whether some kind of impurity is added in a substance. For getting the more details of IR absorption spectroscopy, you could judge in www.gurukpo.com, you would get the more details regarding the spectroscopy. Thank you.